showtime for Mr. Edwards. Hello, my name is Chris and welcome to the build-up for Maruti Mathani versus Showtime Sonny Edwards for the IBF Flyweight World Championship live on April 30th on BT Sport and Top Ranks ESPN Plus. Initial reaction for this fight is credit to Sonny Edwards. Sonny Edwards has been talking a lot online and, uh, and in interviews as well that um, he's going to do this and he's going to do that and he's super confident, very outspoken. He's a controversial character in boxing. Some people think he is a very good, undefeated, charismatic contender in the flyweight or super flyweight division and others think he is annoying and boring to watch and has a bad haircut <laughs> and there doesn't really seem to be anywhere in the middle it's you're either in like a, a, a pro edwards or a like negative <laughs> edwards camp i am in the pro side of, of the sunny edwards um controversy <laughs> In the ring, I, I, I always felt like he was sort of in a sparring partner mode. He, he never seemed to have a, a, a killer instinct or like a, a, a motivation to go through the gears and up the tempo and try and get the opponent out of there. And I just don't think that's his style. I think his style is more of a, a sort of awkward, elusive boxer who likes to just, you know, box his way to a unanimous points decision and in most of if not all of, I mean certainly recent fights he has been consistently and, and emphatically winning all of his fights on points yes but very rarely like his last even his last fight uh, against Asumba I thought he, he boxed well he, he does seem to be quite awkward to fight and I mean, the flyweight division is a little bit like the road to a world title in the very lowest weights is a lot shorter than it is in the higher weights. So 16 and 0, he's had a few sort of um, top, I guess you would say top 30 or top 40 opponents and the super flyweight division, but he stepped down to flyweight to challenge for the IBF title against a very experienced world champion in Mathani, a guy who's been undefeated in 13, for 13 years, two-time world title holder, and he has beaten some very, very good fighters in Zolani Tete, John Rio, Casemiro. I mean, Casemiro is a fantastic fighter at super flyweight, and Zolani Tete had a very, very good run as well. This is a good fight, and from a Queensbury Promotions point of view, I think they're hoping that it's a crossroads fight. Mathani is very old, especially at the weight division that he's in. He, he really should be retiring within the next year, I, I would say. Uh, and so they, they're, they're probably hoping that he has not much left and they're hoping that they can, like a young, undefeated, confident fighter in Sonny Edwards with some good elusive boxing skills will be enough to outbox Mathani and, and win a points decision. And that is not beyond the realm of possibility. Right, enough chatter. Let's get into the tale of the tape, starting with Showtime. Sonny Edwards is a former British super flyweight champion. He has a record of 15 wins, zero losses, with four wins coming by way of knockout. He is 25 years old, he has got an orthodox stance, and he is from London in the United Kingdom. He is, went sort of in between flyweight and super flyweight. For a lot of his career, he did fight at super flyweight, and he's dropping down to fight in this world title fight against Mathani. Whether that will be an issue in the fight, is hard to say because I don't know Sonny Edwards' training regime, so I don't know if he is capable of making the flyweight limit. I just don't know. In terms of his most notable fights, he beat Ryan Farag 
won points in 2018 and he's beaten Thomas Asomba in his last fight in 2020. Moving on to the champion. Maruti Mathani is a two-time world flyweight champion. He is the current IBF world flyweight champion and he has a record of 39 wins, two losses with 26 wins coming by way of knockout. He is 38 years old and he is from Guateng, South Africa, but he now stays in KwaZulu, Natal, South Africa. Mathani is a career flyweight and has some very impressive wins on his record. He beat John Riel Casemiro in 2011, knocking him, oh, stopping him in the fifth round. And in his fight before that, he also beat Zelani Tete, stopping him in the fifth round in 2010. He's also beaten Julio Cesar Miranda on points and he was stopped against Nonito Donaire in 2008 when he first challenged for the IBF World Flyweight Championship, of which he is now the proud two-time owner of. There are a lot of elements to this fight that make it interesting. Mathani is a two-time world champion and a current world champion and he's got some fantastic wins on his record, but he's 38 years old fighting in the flyweight division, which for the flyweight division, that is old, you know, making that very, very small weight at 38 years old and being the same weight your whole career, uh, that's a testament to Mathani's consistency and hard work in the gym because most fighters do not fight at the same weight their whole career. You tend to find that near the end of their careers they sort of step up in weight when it gets it like when your body's taking so much pain and damage and wear and tear over all these different training camps that you naturally struggle to make that weight and you lose a bit. The fact that he's fought at flyweight his whole career is very impressive to me. And also Sonny Edwards is this confident undefeated hot prospect or contender and I should say contender but he's stepping down in weight. How is that going to affect him? You know can he keep Mathani off him for 12 rounds. You know, Edwards doesn't hit particularly hard. He's only got four knockouts, but can his elusiveness and boxing skills keep Mathani at distance? Interesting, interesting fight. What do you think of this fight? Let me know in the comments below. Remember, hit that little like button, and I'm out. Peace.